Now let us discuss how to divide rational expressions and write restrictions. So I modified this question a bit and written as simplify the following the restrictions are required. Okay? So earlier in the question it was not required but I thought let us see how to write restrictions for this division statement. So we have x square minus x minus 12 divided by 3x minus 15 divided by x square minus 9 over 24x minus 72. Now in this case we should first factor and rewrite this expression as a multiplication statement, right? So let me rewrite this as a multiplication statement. Then it will be x square minus x minus 12 divided by 3x minus 15 times now x square minus 9 goes to the denominator and 24x minus 72 comes to the numerator over x square minus 9 right now let us factor so we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 12 sum is minus 1 so it is x minus 4 times x plus 3 correct Denominator we can take 3 common, we are left with x minus 5 times, better to write dot instead of x since you can get confused, right? So let me make a dot here. Now 24 is a common factor, we can write 24x minus 3, 3 times 24 is 72, a square minus b square types, right? So we can write this as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now at this stage, we should be in a position to write down all our restrictions, right? So for the first term, restrictions are the denominator terms. They cannot be zero. For the second, which is you are dividing by. So for the divisor, you have to write both restrictions in numerator as well as denominator, right? So the restrictions here are that x is not equal to 5. So we write x is not equal to 5 x is not equal to plus minus 3 which is these places and plus 3 is included here so these are the three restrictions on the given expression now let us simplify when you simplify you can strike out common factors from numerator and denominator right so that goes and we are left with 3 will go 8 times in 24 right so now we can write down simplified expression which is 8 as far as the number goes amongst the factors in numerator we have x minus 4 in the denominator we have one factor x minus 5 so that is the answer and the restrictions are is kind of a reminder to you that we have to include restrictions of numerator of the divisor right x is not equal to plus minus 3 or 5 right so these are the restrictions and that is how you should be doing it. Thank you.